than it did last night. But before the fog forms away, we think the players start to call there will be some pockets. Do that, and then I'll hand you over to Andy. Off you go, Andy. Yeah, Andy. Well, welcome everybody for the uh, second instalment of our uh, chair yoga. So we're going to build on some exercises that we did last week, introduce one or two more. Uh, but before we start, remember, one of the most important things is posture. So if you can, on your chair, if you can sort of sit up fairly straight with a straight back uh, at the beginning. And remember, with, um, with any of the movements, uh, only goes, uh, know your own body. That's the most important thing. So if you're doing any stretches and it begins to hurt, then you've, you've gone too far. So this really is a sort of a meditative, calm experience. So stretch by all means, but uh, know your own personal body and your limits. And the other thing is to um, focus a lot on the breathing as we go through. So we're going to try and breathe uh, through the nose and out through the mouth. And with what we're trying to do is to breathe um, steadily and slowly. So nothing too, um, nothing too loud or too onerous, okay? So first of all, we're going to start off with some, um, some warm-up uh, breathing exercises. So first of all, put one of your hands on your belly, and we're just going to be breathing in through our nose and feeling the belly rise. Because one of the important things about breathing is it really good breathing comes from the belly. So you want to feel your belly rise and your chest doesn't. So hold your belly and then breathe in slowly through the nose, breathing in, inhale. And exhale through the mouth. And we'll repeat that again. Emphasis being on slow and steady intake of breath. So in again through your nose. One final one. This time, take as much air in as you can, again, through the nose. In you go. And exhale. OK, the next breathing exercise builds on that. And this is one that they do at the start of Bikram Yoga. So if you get your hands together, Interlock your fingers if you can and join your elbows together and have that hand under your chin. You place that then under your chin, okay? And when you inhale through the nose, you lift up your arms to frame your face, okay? And then when you've lifted up your elbows as high as you can, to exhale, you push your chin backwards, so your, neck, your head is dropping backwards, push your chin backwards and exhale and then bring your arms together at the front. So have a look when I do it, ready? So in through the nose and lifting up the elbows, in we go. And at the top, then push your chin back and breathe out and bring your elbows together. When your elbows are together at the front, lower the head and breathe in again. So have another go through the nose. Push the chin back. Exhale and bring the elbows together. And repeat the process for the third time. So in through the nose. Lower your head. Elbows up as high as you can where it's not too painful. And push your chin back and exhale. And we're going to do one for luck. Last one. Make this your deepest one. So in through the nose. Push your chin back. Exhale and elbows together. All right, well done. Uh, it's often good to start any of these sessions uh, and end them with the breathing. And any of these breathing uh, activities are meditative and you can do them at home at any time. They're quite good for sort of um, stress busting if you're feeling a bit uptight about something. Right, now we're going to uh, do some exercises where we're working down through the body. So we're going to start off, again, a bit like we did last week, where we are uh, working on the neck. So first of all, so hands, uh, put both of your hands on your knees and sit up fairly straight. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to lower your chin 
lower your chin onto your chest. And when it's on your chest, then you're going to rotate your head up towards the right. So following me, off we go. Just gently rotating the head up, moving the neck muscles. Back down to the center. And then we go into my left or your left. Okay, so off you go. Turning up towards the left. Back down to the center. Keep the chin on the chest. We're going to repeat that. Uh, so first of all, breathe in through the nose. Up to the right and exhale. Back down to the middle. Breathe in again through the nose. Up to the left and exhale. Good. What you'll find, what you tend to find is one uh, turning one way will be stiffer than the other way. It's very rare that you're as flexible both ways. I find it easier to turn to my right than to my left. Right, uh, the next one is another uh, neck exercise. So this time with your head, uh, with, tilt your head to the right and extend out your left arm at sort of 45 degrees. So you're gently tilting your head to the left. To left or right? Uh, your, your, your head is to the right, sorry, your arm is to the left. Okay. My apologies. Then the other way, so tilt your head to the left and your arm out to the right. Move my chair, arm out to the right. Okay. Let's do that one again. So sitting up straight, head to the right, arm to the left, but this time with your right hand, place it over your left ear and gently push your head your neck over a little bit, just gently. So you just gently a little bit. And then we're going to do it the other way. So this time, uh, tilt your head to the left, head to the left, arm to the right. And this time with your left hand over the top of your head, onto gently resting it on your ear and then pushing that neck gently, ever so gently, just to stretch it that last two, three, two or three millimeters. Okay. And then, well done. Finally then on the neck, just to finish off the neck, we're gonna do a couple more where we're increasing flexibility. So first of all, um, like we did at the beginning, rest first of all, just relax your neck muscles and drop your chin to chest. Then the second one, head up again. And this time, let your head drop back. So relax those neck muscles so that your head, your head hand backwards. And up to the middle and breathe in through your nose and then you're trying to turn your head to the right over your right shoulder. Oh, well, at three o'clock. So breathe in through the nose. Turn to the right at three o'clock and exhale. Back to the middle, breathe in through the nose again. Turn to the left, so it's nine o'clock. Much stiffer. Oh. I'm much more stiff on the left side, it's strange. Yeah, I had a problem as well, so. And then, and then back to the middle. What about the rest of you? Is it any difference either side? Yeah, makes a bit of a difference. Okay. Right, now we're going to go on to work a little bit on our shoulders. So first of all, sitting up um, straight again. And first of all, we, as we inhale through our nose, we're going to lift our shoulders up towards our ears. So ready, inhale through the nose. And exhale as you drop them down. And again. See if you can get the uh, shoulders to touch your ears. Ready, lift. Breathing in and exhale when you go back down. And one for luck. So breathing in and lifting shoulders, here we go. Exhale. 
And I'll be gently massaging the muscles of our shoulders there. But this time, same thing again, but one shoulder at a time. So breathing in through your nose and just with your left shoulder. Ready? Breathe in through nose. Exhale. This time with your right shoulder, breathe in through your nose, inhale. Exhale. Really let your shoulders drop down then. Okay, last go on this one. Breathing in through the nose, lifting up the left shoulder. Here we go. Exhale. Now the right shoulder, ready? Breathing in through the nose again. And exhale. Okay, now you might need to move a little bit further forward on your chair now because we're going to rotate this time our shoulders. Okay, so first of all, uh, breathe in through your nose and then we're rotating our shoulders forward. Ready? So breathe in and rotate forward and exhale. Again, breathe in through the nose and, and round your shoulders. One more when we're going forward. So breathe in through the nose, inhale and rotate. Good. Then this next one, we're going to inhale through the nose, but this time rotate backwards. So you'll feel your shoulder blades almost meeting at the back. Okay, so inhale and rotate backwards. Ready? Inhale. Squeeze backwards and exhale. And again, inhale as you twist backwards, as you rotate backwards, inhale. And exhale. One last one, inhale. Squeeze those shoulder blades, exhale. Okay. Right, this next one, we did this last week, the cat and cow stretch. So, hands on knees. And maybe a bit forward on the chair again, not close to the back, hands on knees. And when you breathe in through your nose, you're going to sort of lean your upper body backwards and um, push your head backwards. So you're opening up your chest. OK, this is very good. Anything where that's a back bend is extremely good for your lungs. So hold in the knees, breathe in through your nose, sit up straight, breathe in through the nose and push backwards, pushing your head backwards. Then when you exhale, curl forwards. So watch me, exhale, then head droop down, head looking towards your belly and you're curling down a bit, tightening your stomach muscles a bit. Okay, we'll try that again. This is the cat and cow. So hands on knees, breathing in through your nose and it's a stretch backwards from the neck. Ready, breathe in. Exhale and curl forwards. Good. Right. Next one, we're going to move on to our hands a little bit now and our fingers. Okay, so put your arms out straight. And the first thing we're going to do, um, have your fingers open. So inhale and then close your fingers. Exhale, open them up. Inhale, tight fists. Exhale, fingers as wide as you can get them. Last go, inhale and close the fists. Exhale, open them up. Well done. Uh, this time, palms up again, uh, uh, arms up again and palms down. So as we breathe in, we're going to flip our arms over so that the palms are facing up. So breathe in, turn your arms so palms are up. Nice. Breathe in, exhale as you turn them back over. 
And again, we're working on the wrists a bit. Breathe in through the nose and turn the palms. Exhale as we turn them back. Okay. Right, the next one. Um, again, arms out in front of you. This fills up your muscles in your arms a bit and hands uh, down like that. And then as you inhale, you're going to try and bend your fingers back up and backwards. Ready? So hands down first. Inhale through the nose. And, and try and bend your fingers back towards you. For me, it's quite painful. I've got a very painful left wrist, so I, I can get my right hand back a bit further. All right, drop them down again. So ready to inhale as we lift those fingers. Inhale as we lift the hands. Inhale. Exhale as we go down. And again, inhale as we raise the fingers. Exhale as we drop them. Okay. Uh, next one. Uh, have your one palm facing you up like that, if you can see me. So your fingers are facing you. Then invert the other one. And you're then going to interlock the fingers. And as you inhale, gently pull. See if you can do that. Inhale. And exhale. So exhale when you're relaxing. So when you're pulling, inhale. When you're relaxing, exhale. Let's try it again. So inhale and pull. Exhale, relax. And again, inhale as we pull. Exhale as you relax. Okay, right. The next thing is we're uh, going to move on a little bit now to the to the arms. So this next one is uh, moves the arms, the shoulders, and um, the waist a little bit. So this one um, actually activates lots of muscles and is very good for a number of parts of your body. So first of all, hands by your side, hands by your side, and make sure you've got enough room because in a minute what we're going to do is we're going to, as we inhale, we're going to um, raise our hands up above our head. Okay, and then as much as you can, when you're above your head, try and see if you can lock your arms out. Okay, I'll demonstrate if you, uh, for you if you like. So arms by your side. So breathing in first, breathing in through the nose and raise your arms, ready? Ready? Okay. Let's try again. Arms down, exhale. So this time, the idea is you breathe in on the way up, and as we bring our arms back down, that's when we exhale, okay? Ready? Breathe in through the nose and lift. Up to the top, exhale as you go back down. Back to your sides. You should feel your chest opening up a bit. And again, breathe in through the nose. Try and lock those arms, and then breathe out. Two more. Really stretch up so you're reaching up as if you're trying to touch the ceiling. Off you go. Breathing in. Reach up high as you can. And exhale and let them come back down. Okay, the next one is building on that. So it's the same principle. But when we reach the top, when our arms are... Uh, interlocked, our fingers are interlocked at the top, then we're going to bend to the right and to the left. This is called uh, the half moon. So with this one, you will be stretching sort of muscles on your side, just above your hips. 
So it's important when you do this one not to sink into the hips. So you need to try and sit up as straight as you can. Okay. So the first part of it is like we did before. So hands by your side, breathing in and arms up to the top. Ready? In through the nose. Up to the top and exhale, but keep them up there. Keep your arms up there. And then if you watch me, this is like moving in between two plates of glass, in, like in between two bits of double glazing. Twist both over to the one side, but without leaning into your hip. Twist over, so you should feel a pull on your left side. And back to the top, and then going over the other way. Over the other way. So this time you should feel a pull in the muscle on your right side. And back to the top, exhale and arms down. So the important thing about this one is try to um, not to keep your hips level and not sink down one side. So you're not sinking your side. Your, um, the only bits really that are moving are your shoulders and your arms. So your hips need to be up and firm. Let's try that one more time. So arms, um, arms by your side. And then breathing in through the nose, off we go again. Up to the top. Exhale. Then this time when we inhale, we're uh, leaning over to the one side. So inhale through the nose and lean over. Exhale. Back to the top, then we're inhaling again, over to the other side. Exhale. Okay. Back to the top and arms down. Okay, that's a good one to do at home. With that one, you're really helping your um, opening up your lungs, but also stretching those muscles that are on the side just above your hips, where we sort of uh, tend to carry quite a bit of weight. So it's good for that. You should feel it really tighten up if you do that um, regularly. Um, one other one for the, um, we're going to go back to do another one for the hands now. So this next, uh, for the um, arms, this time. Uh, lift up your elbows, so your elbows there and your hands, uh, and then see if you can have your just hands like this. And then we're trying then to tilt those fingers backwards again. Can you do that? This time we're going to do it with breathing. So first of all, have your hands sort of flat like that. In As you inhale, we're then going to bend those fingers backwards. Ready? So inhale, bend those fingers backwards. Exhale. Down again. Inhale and lift them. Exhale and drop them. And again. Inhale and lift. Bend them back if you can. Exhale as you drop them. Okay, now we're going to move on to uh, knees and legs a bit. So um, I might have to move this down a bit so you can see my feet. It's a bit difficult to get the whole body in unless I'm about half a mile away. So we'll try. Might not be, I might not be able to see my head now, but hopefully you'll be able to see my feet in a minute. So first, this one um, is... Uh, Strangely enough, it's called the wind removing pose. So it's, uh, it's, it's very good for your colon. It massages the ascending and descending colon. So uh, to do this, if you can, uh, put your right leg out, sort of stretch your right leg out, but your heel is on the floor. So this time, so you're, it's a, your right leg is away from the legs of the chair. So it's virtually straight out. We're gonna be focusing on lifting up the left knee now what Rosemary said last week is, um, I was asking you if you could lift it with your hand on your knee like this, but if that's difficult, you can lift 
like I think Rosemary was suggesting last week, by putting your hand underneath your leg, okay? But what you're trying to do this time, if you watch me, so as you breathe in, you'll get your hands on your knee and try and lift your knee up towards your, and see if you can touch your nose, okay? Or lift it up as high as you can. So first of all, grab the knee, inhale, and then lift that knee up towards your nose. And then exhale. Then lower it down. Then keep your left leg out straight. And this time you're lifting up your right knee. So if you can't grip the knee, you, 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 know, you can grip under and lift up already. So I'll do this one by lifting under. So this time inhale and try and lift that knee up towards your nose. And exhale. Okay, back to the left leg. Here we go. So inhale, lift up the knee, touch it with your forehead or your nose, and exhale. Now we're on the right leg, so grab the right knee, inhale, lift the knee up to your nose, or forehead and put it back down again. So that you can adapt that one by holding under the knee if you want to. Now this next one is uh, actually is good to coordinate both sides of your brain. So this time, make sure you've got enough space before you. And if you can, we're now going to be um, uh, so you're sitting up straight, you're going to be lifting one of your legs so that it's parallel to the floor and the opposite arm. So the idea is at one point we're going to lift the right arm and the left leg. And at the other time we're going to do the opposite. Okay. So the first one is your left, your left foot's going to stay on the floor, but you're going to, uh, in a minute, you're going to lift up your right leg and lock it out and lift up your left arm at the same time. That a little bit. Okay, so are we ready? So inhale. So this time we're going to be lifting, raising our left arm up and our right leg. Ready? Let's do it. Here we go. So inhale. And see if you can hold it. Hold your breath. One, two, three, four, and down. Well done. Now we're going to do the other side. This is where we find out who's coordinated and who's not. So I, I'm probably going to get it wrong myself. So this time we're going to lift up our left leg and our right arm. Are you ready? So breathing in, off we go. Hold your breath. One, two, three, four, and down. Good. Anything that works on either side of the brain um, coordinates it. It coordinates the two halves of your brain. So in school, when I was a teacher, you do lots of activities that come across the medial line. So anything you can do when one bit comes across is good for, brain, for stimulating the brain. Right, we're gonna go back and do that one again. So this time we are going to be raising our left arm and right leg. So ready to inhale, inhale and left arm up, right leg out in front of you and then exhale. Back down again. This time it's left leg up, right arm, inhale. Exhale. Right, this time we're gonna try and do it, but we're gonna try and hold our breath for 10 seconds and hold that pose for 10 seconds. With the leg that you lift up, see if you can lock the knee out and try and keep that leg straight. Okay, so, we're going to go and we're going to do um, right leg and left arm. We're going to start this time. Ready? So inhale and off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And down. Well done. Well done. Now we're doing the opposite direction. So it's right arm up and left leg. Ready? Inhale. Hold your breath. 
and down. Okay, good. Right, the next one that we're going to do is hold the boat. Now on, on this one, you're sitting in your chair. You're going to raise two legs up together this time. So your legs are going to be parallel to the floor, but also you're going to stretch your arms out in front of you. Okay. So I'll just, uh, so in other words, you're going to look a bit like that. Let me just, uh, down a bit so you can see my legs. So your, your legs are going to be out and your arms are going to be parallel to your legs. Okay. So we can have a go at this one. And ready to inhale. So inhale through the nose and then legs and arms up. Exhale and down. So this is good for the, your quad muscles at the top of your thighs and also gets a bit of maneuverability into those knees, okay? Let's try again. So, <clears throat> uh, Ready, inhale through the nose and lift up legs and outstretch arms. Ready, inhale. Five, four, three, two, one, and exhale. Well done, well done. Right, now, coming on to ones now that are a little bit trickier, so go easy on these. If any of you have had a hip replacement, um, you might have to sit this one out because this is a sort of a spinal twist, this next one, okay? So the idea is, if I sort of demonstrate really, first of all, is your, <clears throat> you lift your left, don't do it yet, just watch, lift up your left leg and put it over the top of your right one. Then you put your elbow on the chair, you let your left arm on the chair, you pick your right arm up and bring it across your body, and then you're twisting, it's a spinal twist to the left. So you're trying to look over your left shoulder, okay? So that's the sort of setup. So you're probably gonna need to uh, move a little bit forward on your chair. So first job is to lift your left leg up and over your right leg if you can. So your right knee is on top, okay? Then as we then lift up your right arm, bring it across your body so that your, your right elbow is on your, the outside of your left knee. And then inhale and twist your body around to the left. And then exhale. So you should feel a big spinal twist there. Then back to the front. And now we're gonna do the other side. So when you're doing this, you should feel a twist in your muscles, a pull of your muscles down the left side, but also you're, you're opening up your neck muscles and your shoulder at the same time. Right, the next one is the opposite way. So this time your right leg is on top, over the top of your left. Then you bring your left arm up and across your body and put the elbow on the outside of your right knee, as, I, as you can see. Then as you put the arm around the chair, then twist your upper body, spinal twist, and go that way. Okay, and exhale. Right, we're going to try two more of those. These are, this is the, gradually being a bit more difficult, these ones, but uh, ones like this activate lots of muscle groups. So you're not just stretching one particular joint, you're you're warming muscles up and moving different joints. Right, so here we go again then. So remember the setup. So first of all, don't worry about the breathing yet. Just get the left knee on top of the right knee. And don't breathe yet, don't worry about the breathing. And then bring your right arm up and over and get that elbow, the right elbow on the outside of your left knee. And then this is where we inhale. So inhale through the nose. Then twist your body, upper body to the left. So you're trying to look over your left shoulder. And five, four, three, two, one, exhale. Good. Then 
back the other way. So this time, back to the first setup, this time we've got the right leg over the top of the left leg. Then left arm up and over. So the left, hand, left elbow is on the outside of your right knee. Hook your arm around the chair, inhale, inhale. Twist your upper body so you're trying to look over your right shoulder. If it hurts, you've gone too far. And exhale. Okay. Right, next one. This time what you what we're going um, to do. We're going to um, inhale and put our, hand, our hands on our heads first of all. So as we inhale, do this one bit. As we inhale, it's hands on heads. Ready? So watch me. And then when it's on the top, exhale as we turn each side. And the other side. And back to the middle. Okay, so hands on top of your heads if you can do it. So hands on top of heads. And inhale first. Twist round to the one way and exhale. Back to the middle. Inhale again. Twist the other way. Exhale. Back to the middle. And arms down. Well done. We're doing really well. Well done. Right, this time. This is uh, one that's a little bit more tricky. So this time with your knees, move your knees out. Let me just show you. Move your, uh, move your knees out so that uh, the legs are opened a bit more and the knees are around, down to the side. Okay, like that. That's the setup. And this time we're building on the last one, but we, so we're going to be putting our hands on our heads, but then when, the, uh, just, just watch this time first, just watch. So when your hands are on your heads, and I'll talk about the breathing in a minute, then we're going to lower the left elbow to the inside of the right knee. Okay, this is a bit of a tricky one. So arms by your side first and we'll have a go. So are we ready? So inhale and arms up on top of your head first. Inhale. Then exhale. Right, now this time what you're going to do as you inhale, you're going to lower your left elbow and try and get your left elbow down towards your right knee. Ready? So off you go. Inhale. And when you touch the knee, exhale. And come back up to the top. Then come back up to the top. Right. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So we're going to inhale. Then drop the right elbow onto the left knee. And exhale. Okay, good. That's a bit more tricky, that one. So we'll uh, maybe have another go at that. One's like that a bit next week. Okay, right. Next thing. Uh, this time, just have a so knees back, sort of the, so that they're um, around the front again. So this time. Your knees are sort of like this a bit more. And what we're going to do on this on this one is hands on our knees. Well, hands on our thighs first at the top of the thighs. We're going to slide our hands forward. And as we get to our knees, slide down towards our toes. Already? So hands on thighs to begin with. And breathe in. And slide the hands down and exhale when you get to your toes. And breathe in again when you bring the hands back up. Okay, one more go on that one. So lean it forward again, ready? Hands on upper thighs first. Sliding down those legs, ready? Off we go. Breathe in. Exhale as you go down. Then arms back up. 
Good, good, good. Right, going to move on and do a couple of things on the feet. And this is might help with the calf a bit for this one now, uh, D, you were saying about the calf. Yeah. Um, first thing we're going to do, um, something to loosen the calves a little bit, is to do with the toes and the heels. So first of all, um, let me turn that down a bit there so you can see my feet properly. Uh, yeah. I have to come forward a bit, I think. Oh, back the other way. Oh, see you. I'll just have to describe it. It's difficult to get it on the screen. Then. First thing you do is have your feet flat on the floor, and then uh, push them out, uh, slide them slightly forward. And then what, what what I want you to do is to keep your heels on the floor, but lift up your toes. So. Heels on the floor, heels stay on the floor, lift up your toes. That will open the calves a little bit. Oh, yeah. Have a go. Yeah. And then feet back on the floor. Okay. So your, your heels are on the floor all the way through, but then you're lifting up the toes up as high as you can. And again, so breathe in through the nose first. Lift your toes. And exhale. And let's try that one more time. Breathe in through the nose and raise the toes. Exhale. Right, the next one is sort of the opposite of that. So this time what you're gonna do, and this is a good, if you really want to strengthen the back of your calves or your good for your Achilles, um, you can actually do this on a step on your staircase if you're able to. But if not, you can just do it from uh, being in a chair. This time, what you're going to do is you're going to lift your heels off the floor and press down with your toes. So this time your toes are on the floor, but you're lifting up your, your heels. OK, and again, this will this tightens up your calves. So the other one opens and stretches your calves. And, the, and this one tightens them up. So ready? So breathe in through the nose, lift the heels, and exhale. And then lower the heels. Okay. Let's try that again. So breathe in through the nose. Push down with your toes and lift those heels up as far as you can. Exhale. And down. Right. Then we could do, I don't know how any of you are okay for doing what, uh, standing up one to stretch those legs a little bit. If you want to stand up. So if you want to just stand up for a second. And as you're standing up, I'll, I'll point this over a bit. This is a good one to stretch the calves uh, D. Yeah. Uh, as you're standing up, first of all, pick up your left leg and swing it round so it's over the top of the right leg. Okay. And then staying up straight, all you've got to do with your hands, so inhale first, and then reach down towards your toes and you'll feel the calves tighten. Ready? So reaching down. And exhale. Back up you get again. I'll show you that again. Ready? This time swap over. So this time right leg goes over the left leg. Okay. You can see. And then breathe in through your nose. And then lower your upper body. Lower your hands down so they're trying to get down towards your toes. You'll feel your calves stretching there and your hamstrings. Okay. And back up to the top. And then sit back down in the chair. Hold on. Okay. Then finally, let's just do one more for the toes. 
So this is a good one. This got recommended to me when I had some physiotherapy at one point and uh, in Whips Cross, which is the nearest hospital to me, they've actually got a hydrotherapy pool there, which is was fantastic for arthritis. They, uh, they, I don't think they've got one in King George or, or in Romford, but in, in Walthamstow they, or Leightonstone they have. And I had a course of six weeks one-to-one -one in a hydrotherapy pool. Um, which was absolutely brilliant. It should be, uh, should be more readily available. But this is one that they were telling me in, in uh, as a warm-up one. Imagine now that, so your hands are on your knees, imagine that you've got a towel under your feet and with your toes, imagine that your hands don't work and with your toes, you've got to scrunch that towel up under your feet, okay? So the towel's under your feet, so with your toes, Pull that towel, imaginary towel, back towards your heels. Off you go. So breathe in first. Then breathe out. Keep doing that so you bring your toes back towards you. Okay. Right, and then just to finish off, we're going to do just a gentle breathing exercise. So this time, get my face back. This, this time, so it's hands on knees and generally close your eyes this time. So we're focusing on slow, steady breathing. So ready to breathe in through your nose, breathing in. Feel your belly rise, exhale. Feel your belly fall. I'm going to do one last one to finish off. So make this your deepest, smoothest, slowest breath. Ready? In through the nose. Okay. Um, it's quite good to practice breathing in through the nose because, like I've said last week, that's how what we're designed to do. But we're so used to breathing in through the mouth that um, we, we often forget about it, but it's, it is actually better for you. And there have been studies done where people have, um, people who's, who sleep with their mouth open don't sleep as well as people with their mouths closed when they sleep. So it's interesting. And yeah. Okay, so that's it for this week. Uh, I look forward to seeing you all again next week. And I'll um, use some of these exercises that we've done and I'll add in some more but if any of you have got um, any requests for specific exercises for different muscles if you get in touch with um, with me or Diane maybe um, she can forward it to me and I can build that into the sessions but uh, okay everybody yeah thanks a lot Andy that's great thanks a lot. thanks very much um, yeah, and okay, uh, so if you've got any special requests, um, get them to email them to the normal address and we'll pass them on to Andy and he can sort something out for next week. Yeah, so anything specific like D, with it, he was mentioning the calves or anybody else got an issue with a certain muscle or joint, if you um, get in touch, then I'll try and build something in for you. Yeah, okay. I, might, I might drop you a line on that, Andy, because my back's playing up a bit. But that's because I was digging this morning. So uh, that's probably okay. why. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks a lot, everybody. See you Thank next you. week. Thank you. Thank you. Next, uh, next Thursday. Bye. 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 Bye.